I love the graffiti. That's that's pretty cool. That's that's one of them that I really like. It's got so many different colors. And like I said, you get dressed in dark. Wow. Would you call it sort of a, an attitude kind of a product or, you know, like I'm out there and this is me, you know? I don't look at it that way. I, I just look at it, uh, you know, I mean, people don't realize back in the 60s how colorful the game of golf was. You know, the pants Johnny Miller wore, uh, the bright uh, Sansa belts, you know, the bright colored Sansa belts a lot of the players wore. And, uh, it's not something new, it's just we've kind of taken it to another level where it's a little brighter, uh, it's more fun. You know? And the cool thing is, is we're seeing so many women wearing a lot of stuff, but it's just sports and it's just crazy. You know, it's just really cool, and, and what's really cool is when I sell the masters, a couple will come up and, and you know, he'll buy the shorts and she'll buy the matching skirt. I mean, it's just not too many companies can do that. And, uh, so we just have a blast to do what we're doing. John, lucky for us, you defeated Fuzzy Zeller on the bet that he had with you last year that you wouldn't make 50. Yeah. When I talked to Fuzzy, I said, well, what'd you pay John? And he said, <laughs> Fuzzy said, I sent him a 1.75 bottle of my premium vodka. How was it? Yeah, well, it, it was good. Um, <laughs> it was good. He gave it to me on the first tee. And he made he a good said. point. He says, if you'd have died, I wouldn't have gotten paid. So, <laughs> so it worked out pretty good. John, how's the, how's the music going? You still doing any music? I know you got a love for music. John oh, Stallings with Back Now Media. We're out of Eastern Tennessee. And uh, I, I myself was in a studio in Nashville. And uh, I read way, way back that you had pursued, uh, had, love, had this love for music. And I always do. I love to write. I'm not good enough on the guitar to play a lot of chords, but I, I know enough to write a little bit. And then I can always call one of my buddies to help me out. But, uh, you know, it was really weird. The Hit It Hard song went seven on the highway countdown back in the 14th of October. And for me to have a top 10 song was pretty cool. Um, and then the 30 for 30 came out. and. You know, I sang the song on the 30 for 30, and the downloads are just crazy. So it's a lot of fun. So it's something you always maybe go back to 